Hello, everybody. This is Kyle Flaherty. Take two for those who are actually live here uh, in our Austin headquarters. Uh, I am Kyle Flaherty. I'm Mike Hamilton. And I don't know if you noticed anything different when we came in there. Yeah, it was a pretty cool little video. That was pretty cool. That's called a donut in Do the business. Oh, well, I'm not in the business. Oh, well, anytime you see one of those before a video, it's called a donut. Is that because it also goes at the end? Yes, so it's a so round it's a circle. Uh -huh. Yes. So uh, it's not a crawler, which would be very different. What would that be? I don't know. It would be like throughout the entire thing, I guess. What about a donut hole? Ooh, a munchkin. I love munchkins. We should talk to Dunkin' Donuts about sponsoring this. We should. What about a tiger tail? I don't know. Or a bear claw. Right so anyway, one of, one of the big things that you saw when we came in was this. This is our uh, brand new logo that is launching actually as we speak. It is around 3.30 p.m. Central Time right now. Um, and we just launched a new website, so head over to 21ct.com. Uh, go to our Twitter feed. It's at 21ct Inc. You will see all of this new brand, new colors, new logo, new everything. Um, and we are pretty excited about it. I am extremely excited about it. And it comes after months and months of research and work. Um, and it's done actually to coincide with the launch of our new product. Yes. And you're the director of product marketing. I am. So you should talk about the product. So uh, we have our, are officially launching 21CT Torch. It's our uh, secure, uh, hosted, web-based uh, investigative analytics solution. Uh, our, sort of our initial domain, and what we'll kind of be showing here in a few minutes is uh, really specific to uh, Medicaid fraud, waste, and abuse. Uh, but certainly, this is an analytics platform designed to really bring analytics to everybody. Um, you know, and potentially other domains as well. But uh, so what you're looking at is uh, is Torch. Yeah, and we'll go back to that in one second. Um, and actually, I'd love you to walk through uh, so some of the features and functionalities and what it means. Um, but we're also doing this because on Sunday, both of you, uh, both of us will be in San Antonio. Yeah, I remember. I remember the that? Alamo. Do you see that? Look at that. It's so cool. Oh man, I want someone to come out the door right now. We should have a video in the background, so then it looks like it's live. I bet there's a live. I bet there's a live streaming webcam that we could put in the background. We always find better things to do in the middle of what we're doing. So yeah, so we will actually be in San Antonio for the National Association of Medicaid Program Integrity, uh, NAMPI. Uh, so we will be debuting Torch there starting Sunday night and going through the weekend. But also hit up our website. Mike has filmed a bunch of different screencasts about how the product works, uh, whatnot, and it will also be the first time that people will see our new brand live, and we will spend a lot of time in So there's our booth. So that will be the booth that you see um, from a lot, and hopefully we'll get it set up here when it comes back, right. like we did at the beginning. Right, so this will be our, right, it'll be be our, our studio. Um, until it then goes to the next show, and then we'll go back. Of course, to then we'll then we'll but, but then we'll lose the blue screen. No, but then we'll do it more. It'll be fun. Okay. Don't worry. Um, I have some ideas for that. And not only that, but we'll be doing cool giveaways. Look at those mason, mason jars. jars. Aren't those nice? Those, those are very are nice. filled with really cool things like pens and little flashlights. And we have temporary tattoos. Yes. That we'll be giving out to employees later today. Um, some champagne glasses, new champagne glasses. Yes. Because this is an exciting moment for all of us. Definitely. Um, but yeah, so. And we just got new nameplates. We got new Very excited plates. about the nameplates. Um, and so we're all pretty excited about uh, all of that stuff. And so really the, you know, what I would want to say without going into too much marketing speak is um, the point of doing a lot of that now looks really weird. I'm going to put it back. Where do you want to be? Uh, I like the Alamo. You like the Alamo? It does feel nice, doesn't it? Or you can always put the logo in the background and us. Uh... Uh, no, I have to drag it down here. Oh. You think I can do this on the fly? Oh, yeah. Well played. Well played. I'm like a producer now. <laughs> Um, but no, we went through, and if uh, you know anything about brand, um, and it's a word that's used, I think, uh, a lot lately, and people kind of throw it around there, but really it's the kind of emotional connection you have to a company. And so we went out and talked with a lot of folks that are out there right now watching this, and our customers, and of course our employees. And we figured out you know, how we could create a brand and an essence that was more in line with the way that people feel about us. And so I would love to hear from people um, at Kyle Flaherty or kflaherty at 21ct.com about what you think about how we're rolling this new brand out, the logo, the website, um, all that stuff is completely brand new. So I'm thrilled about it. It's a really big day for us, for sure. But then 
it all gets back to the product. Yeah. I mean, that's the technology and the innovation that we're about to unleash on folks is staggering. Yeah. Uh, and the engineering feat that is Torch is, uh, it gives me goosebumps having worked in technology for as long as I have. I'm a little bit older than you. Um, Just a little bit. Why don't you run us through kind of Torch a little bit, uh, and so people can kind of get a feel for what it is and, and what it does. And sure. The, the demo that we have up is, as Mike was saying, specific to kind of uh, the Medicaid fraud detection, but the platform itself and the analytics that it can run are something that uh, I think is uh, noticeable to anybody. All right. So, well, first thing, well, I mean, you know, coworker to coworker, what's the first thing that jumps out to you? Search. Yeah, search, absolutely. This is one of the things we found as we were talking to customers as we are developing this platform is that some of the legacy platforms, it was extremely difficult to search. I've seen some of the way these old database systems search. You have to actually type what you're looking for, exact match into whatever field it is that you're, uh, you're trying to find. Um, <laughs> and uh, of, course, <laughs> uh, uh, of course, you are not in the, uh, in the system. And, uh, um, but so Delphia like is in the system. Yeah. And as, yeah. so as, you're, as you're searching, and it's not just looking for uh, first name inside the uh, provider, uh, in the provider field, it's looking across all the different things, providers, uh, MPIs, the bank accounts, you know, whatever information is there, it's looking across the whole thing and delivering you that information as you're going. Uh, you know, because that's really the way we've been trained to interact with, uh, uh, with web-based platforms, you know, Google, LinkedIn, all yeah. those things. As you type, it's giving you the answers. Um, so uh, really the next thing that jumps out at me is really the analytics. I mean, this is an analytic platform, and uh, you know, you, you, on some of the screencasts you'll hear us talk about a little bit, uh, and certainly if you're at Nampi, you'll hear us talk about analytics and how overloaded that really is. But really, it's as simple as it's a question that I want to be able to ask of my data. Not just a, you know, give me whoever's named Delphia, but give me uh, what providers uh, score on the 21CT uh, Torch Team Behavioral Fraud Index. Uh, show, them, show them to me on a scatter plot so I can see that information in a way that I can digest it. Um, that's not just some name and, a, and some you know, probability score, um, but actually more context. If you scroll down, you can even see, you know, hey, the first thing I might want to know as, an, as a Medicaid investigator, uh, fraud investigator, is do I have any case history? Like it's right there for you, um, already showing up. And that would be difficult to get in other systems. Um, and, and in fact, it would take three or four or five different systems. I'd have to go look for that. Um, you know, I can zo you can zoom in just like that, um, and really you can interact with the data in any way you see fit. You don't have to uh, go through the old, yeah, absolutely, real-time updating. Everything is about usability um, and visual appeal so that you as a user can actually, you know, contextualize what's actually happening. Um, now you're looking at the profile page. This is a high-level insight of, uh, of these providers, um, what we would call always-on analytics, um, you know. As product marketing guy, we have to come up with cool names for stuff. But really, it's giving you those next level of answers of questions that uh, answers two questions that you would want to ask. But in the past, you either weren't able to, or you didn't have time because it was it would take complicated queries, or it was in five different places. And now all that information is presented right there at the top. And then, of course, you can dive in. Uh, you can dive into some of those and see more specifics uh, from those data set, uh, the data set views. And then you can even go take it to the graph. Um, and the graph is really sort of in, in 21CT's DNA um, over the last 15 years in establishing relationships between people, places, and things, uh, especially when that data is coming from all sorts of different sources, Medicaid claims, enrollment data, maybe third-party data, um, all sorts of different places, yeah, case history, um, tax identification from you know, Secretary of State, things like that and uh, being able to pull that all together and then look at it in a different way. So what you just, uh, what you just clicked on is the uh, behavioral fraud index, the, the BFI sort of visual tool. So you saw a number, but the number doesn't always tell you uh, as much. It's useful for rankings, but now I can actually see the behavior that made up that particular BFI score in the first place. In this case, you know, a couple different providers uh, with a couple of the targeted queries. Uh, you know, these are speech therapists, I believe you uh, clicked on, and they're, that was the analytics yeah, and they're, they're, you know, they're, uh, they may be billing more than 12 hours a day. You know, not many people besides you and I work more than 12 hours a day well, on a regular a, basis. I mean, that would be a good day for us. Well, Ooh. I mean, that's, that's how we work here. Yeah. Uh, We're not sales. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, I don't think Scott's even here. No. Uh, you may remember Scott from, uh, he, he's, he's, he's in sales, and uh, he's, he's into sales, and he's into sports, and sometimes he shows up to work. One of the things that I want to do is um, I, we, need to get, uh, we need to get Scott to do kind of um, 
remotes for us. Like, we'll throw it to him, and he'll be somewhere in the office <laughs> and just do something. And by somewhere in the office, you mean somewhere in his house. Right. We bring him or up somewhere at the golf, day. Or at some golf course. We bring, him, we bring him up every single episode. I think it's time that we actually start to incorporate him into the show. Why? Oh, wow. That's super awkward. Just kidding. Um, just kidding, Scott. Although I will not be around for two of the August Take a look live. So yeah, you need it, to find a Well, I would certainly I would certainly not punish our audience by doing this solo. Wow. Who are you thinking about? Should we have like a bachelorette side? I don't how about you tune in live and you can see and you can see live uh, who it's gonna be. I'll be at the beach. And I will not be watching. A, you'll have your mobile phone right next to you, streaming live. Take a look live. That's true. Maybe I will. We'll see. You probably won't. No, I, I actually definitely won't, I hope. Um so, all right, well, that, you know, it's real quick, but go to 21ct.com. Mike has done some, like, four or five different screencasts overall. A couple of short five. ones. Yep. A couple of long ones. Long ones. Plenty of information there uh, for you to get. But, again, we both would love to hear um, from you um, and let us know kind of what you think about what's going on. Throw our contact information up there one last time. Yeah, and stop by if you're going to be at Nampy. Yeah, We'd love to talk to you in person. And get a mason jar. And get a mason jar. Looks like. That's what our booth looks like. And then the Alamo. And I remember Booth. that that's the Alamo. Mason jars, Alamo. Look, How many times can I say remember the Alamo in one 15-minute episode? Am I making people sick yet? <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, we need a soundtrack. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. We'll do that at some point um, when we have some time. All right, excellent. Thank you all so much. Um, big day. Big day. We're really excited. And um, that's it. Later. You guys are rocking